Hello Scorpio, this is Julia from Avalon Rituals. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading for April 2021. This is a reading for your Sun, Moon and Rising sign and uh, I'm doing this separate introduction now for you because I just saw that for your reading I started the uh, introduction with Cancer saying Cancer which is obviously the wrong sign but I pulled the cards for you guys and this is why I'm coming a little bit closer now to uh, just share this with you and I'm I'm going to cut now again to the video and I hope you resonate with the messages. If so, always leave a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel and I'll see you now in the reading. And as you can see there are 36 card cards on the table um, and this method is called the Lenormand, <laughs> the Lenormand, the Lenor, the Lenormand or the Lenormand depending on where you're from. Um, and this is a beautiful method to have a look into every area of life. 36 cards representing aspects of your everyday life from work to love, relationships, uh, changes, conflict, etc. And each card has also several meanings. So depending on the placement of the, of the card, uh, depending on the, um, the connections of the cards that are surrounding, you can get different meanings. I'm going to try now to give you as many meanings as possible um, and combinations as possible and especially I want to focus on the cards that are around you to see what's really really important for you in April. Um, so yeah let's just see how it goes. You are in this deck as well, you are the lady and uh, no matter of your gender now even if you are watching as a man I'm gonna use the lady as your card and you are therefore in the last long row and it's the second card from the left there is another person, the gentleman, and the gentleman is the energy of the person you're dealing with, which could be your partner, ex-partner, could be a friend, could be a colleague. Um, let's see who this person is. I can see already this person thinks about love. So um, very strong indicator that there might be someone special in your life related to a love connection. Um, but I want to start around your cards now. Um, all right, you are in the house of the book. It might be that you're studying something, that you're learning something, that you're gaining new knowledge about something. If I go now to the book, I see the book is in the placement of the mice. So the mice talk about loss, fear of loss, could talk about worries. Um, so it might be that you're learning something related to these topics, uh, that you gain some information and some knowledge related to this, which I also feel like this feels a little bit like personal development and spiritual development, where you are really studying your, it feels like you're studying your own fears in a way, and you're really getting aware of things and you're learning things about uh, loss or fear of loss here. Um, let's see where are the mm, okay yeah okay um, what I can see here is that in the house of the masculine person is uh, the other mice so the mice again the talk, they talk about worry loss fear of loss and there seems to be some sort of thing where you gain information and you're gonna fear losing the other person or there's something worrying you related to the other person. The other person is on top of the mice which is the energy uh, which is in the energy of the park which could mean this is a very social person, someone in public, someone who likes to go out on events or um, someone who's very open in general. I do see, as I've said, this person is thinking about love and there are the fish as well. So there seems to be a flow of love or a lot of love. The two of you, though, look in different directions. Sometimes it has a meaning as well. That could mean going in different directions, especially because between, between the two of you, there is an energy of a separation or a withdrawal. Even though there are emotions, that could mean there is an on-off energy, an up and down of uh, emotions, an up and down of the relationship or the connection, or maybe you are at the moment in the process of 
uh, withdrawing from each other, separating from each other, even though there are emotions. Um, I do though feel that there is also communication about emotions. There might even be a very telepathic communications between you guys. Like you feel how the other person feels, so there might be something along those lines as well, a very intuitive connection. The relationship house though is blocked. There are blockages and challenges in the relationship house, which might be related to, now we're going to go to the house of the blockage or the challenge, and that's where the fox is in. The fox is also the card that is next to the gentleman. So there might be something related to um, your own needs or the needs of the other person. It might, or, the fox sometimes can be an energy of not trusting. So that could be something here as well. Maybe someone wants to try to cover something up. But there is a lot of love. Also, I see in your house is the cross. Um, I do think you can see the cross quite quickly um, here in the deck. So there is some sort of lesson you you are going through right now. There could be a karmic lesson. Um, it could be something that is a little bit heavy for you. But I also see that you are going through a big change. You are going through a change and a lot of growth. And also I see that long-term happiness and success is growing, even though you may not be able to see this now, but I see this for you on the horizon. Something is changing within you. There's some sort of growth and I do see that in the long term there is going to be happiness and success for you. As well, privately, in your private life also, I feel like there is a big potential for you to have um, success related to your business. Coming now further, like again to your cards, it might be that there's a surprise in communication coming in. Uh, this might be a surprise in communication related to a withdrawal or setting boundaries that could be related to the other person. And I also feel like there's a new chapter um, starting and something new. There's something new with this other person. That might be related to conflict though. There might be a new conflict because of things not being clear. There's something unclear, unclear related to a decision. And the decision might be cutting something away, cutting something off. It might be maybe someone cut you off or you want to cut someone off or something that needs to be let go of in one way or the other. And there's some sort of movement, something is moving forward in a way with the other person. Again, this other person has a lot of love, but I also see that there's some sort of conflict. You are thinking about the communication and the decision to change something. Change might come in suddenly as a surprise, might be an inner change. Also related to there's something along, there's again something along those lines, being appreciated, being valued, trust, loyalty. And if I now have a look onto the other person, the other person is also a central card, a central energy. There might be a relationship ending or transforming. Going into a new phase could be something. One circle ending, a new, or one cycle ending, a new starting. In the further, further environment, I do see that there is you, a decision, and to end something. To end maybe something related to the connection and to announce this and make it public. There are complications in your love life and stress and nervousness. It's really interesting because we do have good cards here as well. I do see that there is new love and there is something like new love when it comes to this other person or a new beginning in love with the other person that seems to be also a little bit more stable. It might be that there is a new place, a new house, a new home or something changing here in the inner life which the other person is also very aware of. The ring is in the house of the tree, which is a good placement because that's a long-term relationship or a long-term connection. Something is growing, maybe slowly. So that's why I feel like there are some 
um, opposite energies which could mean that this is one aspect of your life and then there is another aspect of your life so maybe in a way it could mean that It could mean that there's another person involved, for example, and this other person needs to end a relationship, it needs to end a long-term marriage, because this is this, and this could be the reason why your house of relationship is blocked. That could be one aspect. Or like I said, if you have an on-off relationship, that might be the case that um, that at the moment the decision is at the moment to withdraw and to separate again. It feels like this is a karmic cycle, very emotional. And also this loss energy, which is what I said at the beginning, right? This loss energy might be related also to your lesson that you're learning right now, which might be a lesson of letting go and surrendering. It does feel though that like this is a little bit going on your nerves. Like there's something that I feel like this might affect your psyche a little bit. But also the other person, I do feel like both of you. Yes, when I have a look onto the card of the heart, I do see it in a house of stress and nervousness. And like I said, there is this ending energy. It might be that there is some sort of grief. If this is not an ending, there might be some grief or sadness that someone needs to work through here. And this is then the, the interesting thing because the, the child is of course a new beginning while the coffin is an end. Again, that could be an off-on situation here. But you're thinking about a decision because of th something not being quite clear here. And I do also think that what's related to the decision is, first of all, trust, trust, decision, new beginning. That's one message that comes through. Um, it might even be about setting boundaries or being independent, being emotionally detached, which doesn't need to be an ending of a relationship. It could simply mean that suddenly, uh, like you're going to communicate that, that suddenly there's a change within you where you feel like you're more independent now and you can be more free and not so attached to the other person. That could be a part of a lesson here. And I also feel like things are going to clear up. There is new clarity coming in which uh, yeah, clarity, a change, and also it seems like because we have the stork and the coffin, it's a deep transformation, a deep, a deep change. It's really interesting for you guys because I feel like the, the um, it's really flowing right now. So I feel like I've already said all the things that I wanted to say and now I'm just on 13 minutes but um, it really felt like the messages came through quite clearly for you. Um, I can have a look around the card of the ring which is something that I think I haven't done like that before. Yeah the ring falls onto the karma so we do have a karmic relationship. I do feel like there is a soulmate karmic relationship here um, where the lesson is also um, about the worries or the loss or the fear of loss. We do see the conflict here again also next to the ring. Um, but also we do see the love here and I do feel this love in general is stable even though we do have some complications here that are causing some uh, nervousness and stress. And the beautiful thing is that I see that you are going through this deep transformation and this deep healing energy. And I feel like you're becoming more and more stable within yourself, which also is then part of this being independent uh, energy. All right. I hope you resonate with the reading. If so, leave a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time.